As to your second question, uh, Commissioner Jarrett, uh, with regard to immigration, sadly, President Obama has poisoned the waters on immigration reform. I'm a firm believer in the fact that one of the many reasons why we have an illegal immigration problem relates to the fact that we have a broken legal immigration system. That system is in bad need of reform. It needs to be updated and modernized to reflect modern demographic and economic needs within our society. We could do this, and it would work if we started with small, bite-sized pieces of legislation, uh, including legislation that I have either sponsored or co-sponsored in the past, that would help make uh, for a clearer path for those who want to enter our country legally and would make sense out of a currently nonsensical and overly hierarchical, overly bureaucratic immigration system. President Obama's recent executive orders on immigration have done much to poison the waters and to make it virtually impossible to pass anything. Uh, this compounded an already significant problem being held over from the Gang of Eight amnesty plan from 2013. One of the problems with that plan is that its advocates promised, threatened, that they would block any and all efforts to reform our immigration system if it didn't include everything within the Gang of Eight bill. Now, much, in fact, most of what was in the Gang of Eight bill could have been acceptable had it been passed in bite-sized increments and in the proper sequence. But what we really need is step-by-step -step immigration reform of the sort that would start with updating and modernizing our legal immigration system and also start with securing our border, putting more boots on the ground, more surveillance equipment on the ground, and more systems in place to track and monitor those who were entering our country. Once our border is secured and our legal immigration system is updated and modernized, we'll be in a better position to figure out how best to deal with the problem of those who are already in the country illegally. Sadly, the president has chosen, rather than deal with Congress and to actually undertake a common sense, step-by-step -step approach to resolve these problems, he's chosen to do all this by executive order. 